Grüezi YouTubers. Here is the guy with the Swiss accent again. Yesterday I got a new microscope in the mail. It has a resolution of 5 megapixels and a magnification factor of 40 to 800 times. I want to use it for photography and for taking videos. And I will try to use it also for SMD soldering work. The microscope came well packaged and it is easy to assemble. Two applications come with it, one to transfer the pictures from the camera to the screen and the other to measure distances. I will not discuss the measuring software because I was not able to install it on my PC. The Autorun.exe on the small CD did not work properly on my 64-bit Windows 7 PC. So I decided to install the necessary applications manually. First I installed the driver for the camera. It is in the folder driver and it has the name public driver 1.0. It installed without any problems. Afterwards, I had to reboot my computer. Next, I installed the application to work with the microscope. Unfortunately, this application is called AMCAP Driver, but it is a full-blown application. This installation also went well. Because I had my microscope connected during the next reboot, it loaded the necessary drivers automatically and I was ready to use my new purchase. I think the clear plastic part at the bottom of the camera is a protection unit for transportation and storage because it blocks the access to the goods below the lens. So I removed it. Eight LEDs are mounted around the lens. They are used to illuminate the samples. The brightness can be adjusted with a small wheel, which is placed in the middle of the USB cable. With the smallest magnification factor, the LEDs are quite well visible, because their reflection is in the field of observation. As you see, the effect of dimming the LEDs is largely corrected by the software. So, I am not sure whether this function will be used very often. You see also that the LEDs emit quite warm white light, at least compared with the cold white of my bench lights. Without this protection cap, the clearance from the lens to the inspected goods is about 30 mm for the smallest magnification and 10 mm with the biggest magnification. I purchased the 5 megapixel camera and the package says that the optimal resolution is 2592 times 1944. This is what I choose in the application. Unfortunately, this has to be selected every time the application is started. Fortunately, I use a 27 inch monitor with the necessary resolution. So I was able to display the full resolution to check the promised magnification factors. With the microscope I got also a plastic sheet with some very small patterns printed on it. First I choose the smallest magnification factor. It should be 40 times. Let's check. Because I'm lazy I choose the 0.2 mm line times 40 it should be 8 mm wide on the screen. Measured with a ruler the result is ok. The magnification from the plastic sheet to the 27 inch monitor is around 40 times. Now let's do the same with the biggest enlargement factor. I choose the thinnest line which is 0.03 mm thick. 0.03 times 800 is 24 millimeters. So the line on the monitor should be 24 millimeters. 
but it has only about the same size of the 0.2 mm line before. So the magnification factor is only 200 to 250 times, which is okay for me, because I will use it usually with smaller factors. But it might be valuable for you to know. However, there is a digital zoom function built into the software. This increases the magnification by a factor of 4. At the end, I reached the claimed factor of 800. You decide if this quality is useful for you. For sure, the 5 megapixel initial resolution is useful or even necessary for this function. With lower magnification factors, you can use the microscope freehand as a camera. This is a very useful function for me to read values on SMD chips or to check solder joints. As a last test, I tried to solder a transistor in a quite small SOT23 package to a small PCB. If you turn the microscope away from the initial position and work with the smallest magnification, you get enough clearance to do your soldering work. And after the soldering, you can still check the result with a bigger enlargement factor. As you see, it is not easy to solder and look on a screen which is in another direction. Only after the work I discovered that I had to switch on the mirror functionality of the application. After that, the movement of the things below the camera were in the same direction as on the monitor. This will enhance my soldering work considerably in the future. All in all, this microscope seems to be useful for me, and I consider it as a good investment. However, I do not know whether the additional money for the bigger resolution was necessary. Maybe one of the viewers can add some comment about that. As always, I hope that this video was useful or at least interesting for you. Bye.